Yeah, I was actually just thinking when I was at the Super Bowl um, about the Super Bowl in Atlanta when I got arrested uh, at that one. I've been arrested a couple of times on the job, but it was at media night and I was asking just dumb questions to everybody. And uh, I was not supposed to be there. I had a forged credential that I snuck in on and the security <laughs> staff came out and they got me and they escorted me back through the tunnels of whatever it was like um what's the what's the basketball stadium in atlanta uh it used to be phillips arena not state farm yeah yeah state farm I, I refuse to call it it's phillips arena okay phillips arena yeah and i was i was escorted through the concourse there and they took me to a back room and they sat me down and an fbi agent came back there and interrogated me i got like no joke interrogated by the fbi for about an hour i was sitting in this chair this guy was asking me questions like how did you get in i was like i just made my own pass was there a one-way mirror there was not. Oh. It was in like a back. I wish I wish it was like an actual interrogation yeah, room. That'd be sick. It was like a storage facility that they had me in, in the bowels of the Phillips Arena. And the guy was asking me, how'd you get this credential? Well, there's pictures of credentials online everywhere. So I saw that. And then I had somebody make a Photoshop of it at, <laughs> at Barstool. And then we did it. And the guy's like, what's the person's name that did the Photoshop? And they were like trying to get names out of me because they, they thought I was like a terrorist. I was like, dude, I'm just in here to ask stupid questions. Did you snitch? That's it. I did not snitch at all. Who was it? I, they did let me out like a hour and a half later, so you can draw your own conclusions. I might, I might be wearing a wire right now. Uh, I'm not gonna say. Good. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who made who made the Photoshop, but the FBI was very, very interested to know names. <laughs> and it's like, dude, there's there's literally nothing less important than trying to figure out how I got my credential. If you're thinking <laughs> like this is a, a security <laughs> issue. This is, and eventually I think the guy realized that I'm not trying to like blow up the place. I'm just trying to ask Todd Gurley when he's going to get that cat that he promised America he was going to get. But um, yeah, that was, <laughs> I, I haven't been arrested in a while. I kind of got the itch. Time to, time to ramp up some, some plans. I'm down. You haven't I'm, been. I'm not to watch you get arrested. I ain't trying to get arrested, bro. You've been detained. You haven't been arrested. Detained. Yes. Detained. Okay. But I was not allowed to leave. Were you in cuffs? Yeah. I was not in handcuffs. They had their arms on, like I had a guy that was holding one arm on one side, a guy holding another arm. Another, not like hard, but they were like, they had their hands on me and they were guiding me. And this one guy pushed me out of the arena, like in uh, the top of my back, just give me a little shove. And As a cop? Uh, security. I think it was a security person at the arena. See, so, that would have set me off. I would have probably got arrested after that. I wore a neck brace for the rest of the week just to just to spook them <laughs> to make them think that maybe they they injured me. Have you ever been for real arrested? Yes, I have. For real? I've been for real arrested. Yeah. <laughs> Drunk in public, St. Patrick's Day. Were you like twenty? Two thousand. Uh, young. I was. Two thousand four, St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so you were like young. I really high school. You know, college. My freshman year. First year then, yeah. So I was walking home from a St. Patrick's Day party. It was probably 2.33 in the morning, something like that. And uh, I was by myself and I was walking down a sidewalk to get up back onto campus. I was like right across the, the, the road from our campus on Main Street. And um, cop just pulled over. I wasn't stumbling or doing anything. I was just walking alone and it was late at night on St. Patrick's Day and my hair had like green spray in it. I was wearing like an Ireland jersey. I was very very clearly coming home from a St. Patrick's Day party. And so the cop just pulled up to the side of the road and he gave me a field sobriety test, which I aced, by the way. <laughs> I nailed it. And then he asked me to blow into the breathalyzer, which I refused because I knew my rights. But then using his cop magic and also me being stupid, he got me to blow into the breathalyzer. And when I did, I didn't even blow hard. I was just going like, like that because I was like they'll never catch me if I don't actually blow this is the perfect crime mm -hmm. and he's like you're not blown it whistles when you blow and so uh then after I refused to blow and he he took me back to the station and then eventually I I took the breathalyzer uh maybe like 30 minutes later again because I'm dumb I shouldn't have done that because then I would have been able to say no I wasn't inebriated and I blew a 0.28 which is uh yeah damn oh my god yeah. three and a half times the legal limit but damn. i was i was functioning and the guy was like how i told him i had a couple beers he goes a couple beers my ass and then he threw me <laughs> i got thrown in the drunk tank and i started working out i started like doing push-ups <laughs> 
and they came by. They're like, "Why are you doing push-ups?" And I was like, "I'm I'm in jail. I'm just trying to trying to work out." Wait, why 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 was he on you in the first? What was you doing? I honestly I did not do anything. I was walking. I was walking down the sidewalk. I wasn't stumbling. I was walking home. I might have been. I was on the phone with one of, one of my friends actually. And I was like, "I got to go. Uh, I think I'm getting arrested." So uh, I I didn't do anything. I was not endangering anyone else. I wasn't doing anything out of line. Just walking. And so then they put me in the cell. And I stayed there until I blew a point zero zero because I was underage. And so I didn't get out until about two o'clock in the afternoon the next day. And then I walked back through campus. I, I had to walk back to my dorm through that, uh, through like 